Hi Stampers, this is Susan Campfield from SueStampfield.com. I wanted to share a fun Halloween project with you today and I'm going to do the video on this one in two parts. So today we're going to concentrate on the broom lolly that is in this fun little witch's box and then I'll do a separate video on the box. So let's start with the broom. Uh, first of all, the this project was inspired by the uh, musical Wicked, which the poster has the... Um, the witch's face, the hat, and you can just see kind of her chin and her uh, mouth. So that was kind of the inspiration here. So let me show you how I made the broom sucker. Um, the sucker that I'm using here is from C's Candies. And actually in my Halloween Treats, Tricks and Treats class, we, um, we use the Halloween ones that they have. Um, if you uh, don't have a C's Candies near you, you know, you could use another sucker. A Tootsie Pop would work or um, even a Dum Dum. Dum Dum might be a little small for the box, but you could always adhere it with a glue dot or a dimensional to keep it in, adhered to the box and keep it from falling over. But what I want to concentrate on today is how to do the broom portion of this project. So what I did to start is I took my sucker and I colored the white stick. I didn't want that white. So I used the Early Espresso ink pad and my sponge dauber and I just colored it, rubbed it on there. Now I will tell you there is a little extra drying time um, with this ink, this paper on the sucker, for whatever reason, it takes a little while for that ink to dry. Um, you don't need to bother doing the end because that'll be covered up by your project. So once you've got it covered to your liking with the little sponge dauber, you're ready to go. I would do that first and let that sit to dry, but I'm going to live dangerously today and try to try it without it drying. So I'm going to just set it aside there. And now I'm going to take um, some of our burlap ribbon. So this is uh, in the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, and it's really nice ribbon. I'm really enjoying using this. Um, and this is how I did, I had the idea of making a broom out of this fun ribbon. So this is how I made that happen. I cut a piece, and let's see, this piece is five inches long. And I took some of our sticky strip. And let me hold this up so that you can see. On this ribbon, there's a seam here, and there's a seam here that keeps the ribbon from fraying. So on one of the seams, you're going to take a piece of sticky strip. And in the class, we found that if you extend the sticky strip, I think it was Margie that discovered this, a little bit beyond the end of your burlap ribbon, it's a lot easier to get that red line plastic off. So I've got that on. I'm just going to trim this piece here off and put that aside and then I'm going to take um, take some scissors and I'm going to cut the other see the other seam there I'm going to just cut that off and I have the wrong scissors here I am going to cut off that edge. Now there's nothing to keep my ribbon from fraying which is what I'm after. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to pull these threads out. Okay, And you can save those for another project. You could tie a little treat bag closed or for ribbon on a card. But once you're done fraying it, it is going to look like this. And at that point you're going to pull the red line tape okay there we go now I'm gonna pull my red line tape so this is where that little piece that hung over comes in handy I'm gonna rub it down on my paper this is pressure sensitive so if you rub on it then you can get that plastic up easily. And I found with just rubbing it on the burlap, it was pretty hard to get just the ribbon to come up. Now I'm going to get a little piece of that paper to come up with me. That's all right. And now I'm going to go sticky side in to my sucker. And I'm just going to wrap this around. 
since my sucker stick is still wet, I'm going to hold on to the lolly part here. Try to keep my fingers from turning early espresso. And there we have it. So just brush those up. And there we have our witch's broom. So tune into the next video and I'll show you how to make the cute box to put this in.